doesn't look right. Oh, hi there. Welcome to my doctor's office. I'm Dr. Jenkins. I'll be the specialist seeing you today. Oh, one second. Uh, excuse me. Uh, do you mind just labeling John Kramer's x-rays for me? I appreciate that. I just don't mix them up. Thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, we've had a bit of a busy day today, but I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling good. <laughs> it's always good to hear. Uh, I was in the middle of pulling up your file. Do you mind if I have your membership number? Mm-hmm. Okay. Perfect. And if you don't mind just confirming your address for me. And date of birth. Fantastic. All right, so it looks like you're here for just a simple checkup. Simple but effective. Good, good. You know, we always recommend patients coming in, even when they're not sick or not feeling anything you know, wrong, because it's always good to kind of be ahead of the game. Of course. So, speaking of feeling sick or getting ahead of that pain, have you been experiencing any discomfort, pain, anything you've been concerned about you'd like to bring to our attention before we get started? Okay. Mm-hmm. And how long has that been? Uh... Okay. No, it's no worries. It's actually perfectly normal right now. We've been getting a lot of uh, patients coming in for that exact reason, so... I don't know. Might be something in the water. I'm just messing around, but uh, we're just going to get started with that simple checkup. We're going to be running through some sensory uh, tasks, a couple of tests here and there to help test just different senses you have. Make sure your body's tip-top, testing out your muscles, your sight, smell, taste, hear, touch, everything. Just make sure we get everything going. All right, so I'm just going to sanitize myself. Oh yes, feel free. We like to keep a clean office here. Okay, so if you don't mind me actually just touching your face, getting a little up close and personal, I'm just going to test your facial muscles. Okay, perfect. There we go. Go and just keep your face relaxed for me for now. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm feeling some tension here. Don't worry about that. Go ahead and smile big for me. Big, 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 big. All right. Let's touch your cheek on this side right here. Does it, does it hurt when I touch here? No? Okay. How about this temple on this side? No? Okay. That's perfect. Okay, now if you don't mind just keeping your eyebrows down, I'm going to put my fingers right on top here and go ahead and just look shocked and be surprised. Okay, I'm just going to feel some pressure. Perfect. Now opposite side. I'm going to come under the eyebrows and just give me an angry face. Perfect. Just minimal pressure, nothing, no discomfort or anything. Is that a... Okay. Alright, if you don't mind just turning your head for me to the side a bit. Okay. Good, now I'm just going to push down here on your jugular. Don't worry, not too much pressure, but how's that feel? Okay, go ahead and just swallow for me. Okay. Now, if you don't mind, I'm just going to get my stethoscope and we'll be looking at some of your vitals as well. Heart rate, perfect. Okay, just one second, let me get that. Okay, perfect. 
Perfect. Got a nice little stethoscope here. Uh, don't worry, I just need you to breathe normally, okay? Take a deep breath in with me. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. behind you here. Once more, deep breath in. And out. Okay. Other side, and I'm going to have you hold this one for a bit, okay? Yeah. In. And out. Good news is, is everything's looking normal. Uh, did you feel any shortness of breath during those exercises at all? No? Okay. That's what we like to hear. Okay. So, everything's looking good when it comes to your vitals. Heart rate, breathing, everything is fine. Um, we don't need to take your blood pressure at the moment. Might look into that after our sensory test, but for now, we're gonna get started with some of the senses, if you don't mind. Uh, we're gonna start with taste. Is that okay? All right. Now it is going to get still a little up close and personal. I just wanna make sure it's okay for me to touch your face, maybe come in a little closer. Okay. Perfect. So here is the first tool. I like to use here at the office. This here is our jump jump. Oh, well, most of our patients need it because they don't seem to know how not to stick their tongue back in their mouth. If we need your tongue be out of your mouth. Some of them get scared, so they just kind of pull back a bit. So Mr. Chomp Chomp here makes sure that the tongue is completely out throughout the entire test. Some of the tastes can be bitter, they can be uncomfortable, nasty. Some of them are delicious, great, just fantastic tastes. <laughs> yeah, so if you can just open up your mouth for me. Yeah, we're just going to get your tongue. Don't worry, it's not painful. Ah, there you go. It's not too bad, is it? Just give it a little wiggle. You're completely fine. Actually, it's upside down. One second. Okay. That's much, much better. But um, if you don't mind, just letting that hang there. There you go. Look like Gene Simmons from Kiss. I'm just gonna let that hang there for a little bit while I get a look at our first packet. Um, these flavors do come in packets. They are labeled, so I'm gonna need you to just close your eyes for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here comes the first packet. salty. Perfect. Your first packet was soy sauce. Now this soy sauce has a very salty taste, which is going to help us really test your more strong taste buds, the ones that are able to pinpoint a taste as strong as soy sauce. Now, most of these are strong, but I would say soy sauce is one of our strongest. If you could go ahead and close your eyes again, and we'll be sure to get our next packet out. 
Thank you. Okay. This one's a favorite of mine. soy sauce. These spices in this are supposed to kickstart your taste buds, going from the salty end to the spicy end, really covering all the in-betweens as well. So you did good. Great job. All right, looks like we got three more flavors for you to try. Um, no, I'm sorry. We don't have any water at the moment. You just have to tough it out for now. Eyes closed. Perfect. as we can there on your taste buds. Okay. Perfect. This one's much more thicker. I can assure you that. Uh-huh. Take your time. I wouldn't be able to talk if I had a whole packet of syrup in my mouth either. this one right. It's syrup. So, sorry about that. You already knew. That's what they all say, but I think they're lying. It's okay. We'll continue on with the next ones. Alrighty, close those eyes for me. sugar in it, similar to the syrup, but you being able to distinctively describe the strawberry taste is important, because if it's just sugar, just more sweet to you, then it wouldn't really matter what we're actually giving you in terms of flavor. So it's good that your taste buds are able to identify the flavors just as much as saying just sweet, or just spicy, or just salty. Just have one more to go. And I'm saving the best for last. Definitely one of my favorites. Perfect. Okay. Okay. There you go. 
Just take all that, squeeze that out. Ah, perfect. Oh, you like this one. I told you, best for last. Perfect. Yes, that was grape jelly. Now, grape jelly used to be my favorite with some toast as a kid. I haven't had too much of it recently because it is full of a lot of high fructose corn, corn syrup and some sugar. Oh, it's good every now and then on a cheat day, but you know, you can't have it every single morning, you know? A cookie a day keeps the doctor away. Or is it apple? You know what, it's one of those two. Just figure it out. Alrighty. It looks like your test results for your taste is fantastic. You got a perfect score. We're going to go ahead and move on to more of a visual here. We're going to do some light visuals. We're going to have me uh, kind of wiggle my fingers and test your peripherals. But if anything, just let me know if you need a break, need to go to the restroom, or just, you know, need to question or have anything on your mind. Here I have just a simple multi-tool. Now, thankfully, this multi-tool comes with a very, very low light. We don't want to blind any of our guests here. So we make sure our light isn't that bright. Jesus. So I'm just going to have you look right here at my nose, okay? Just continue to look at my nose, and I'm going to use this light to see how your pupils are dilating. Perfect. Center yourself onto my face. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Don't pay too much attention to the light. It should be just coming out of your peripheral. sensitivity. That's normal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -mm. Don't worry. You're doing great. Just keep your head still. Okay. All right. So you seem to be doing fine. Go ahead and just stare directly into the light for as long as you can. And when you can't handle it anymore, go ahead and just close your eyes for me. Three, two, one. Perfect. Ah, you blinked. Okay, well, you did fantastic when it came to the lights there. Any questions about that test? Anything in terms of the, again, sensitivity? Doesn't look like you have any redness in your eyes or anything, so it seems to be working well, if I may say so. Okay, looks good. Um, pain turn light visual. All right, now what we're gonna do is something very simple. I have this pen here, and I just need you to stare at the tip of that pen. Nothing else but the tip of that pen. Okay. So, stare at it for me. Okay. Good job, good job. Keep following the pen. Mm-hmm. Just the tip. Go right there. Okay, follow, follow. All right. Just gonna bring it to the side here. Test your side. I perfect. Right side. Follow it. Good. 
Find some more. Just look at the tip. Ah, you went cross-eyed. Nice. I like that. Um, what we're going to do now is actually test some peripherals as well. I'm going to bring the pen into your line of sight, and you just let me know when you're able to see the pen, just to see where your peripherals are out, okay? Okay, perfect. Just look straight ahead, right here at my nose, okay? Let me know when you see the pen. are good. We're just going to do that once more. But with my fingers, we're going to go ahead and bring both fingers in and you just let me know which one waggles on which side, okay? Perfect. Once again, straight ahead. Perfect. Good job. So peripherals are looking great as well. Again, you're passing with flying colors, can offer you a water, anything that you need, drink, snack, LaCroix. No? Are you sure? I can get our assistant, Deborah. She's awful, but I'm sure she can at least carry a glass of water to you. Okay, suit yourself. Alrighty, so let's move right along. We got taste, we got visual. So we're actually going to run another uh, colorblind test. Have you ever done one of those before? Okay, well, it's very simple. Don't worry. I have these colors here and this blank sheet of paper. So this paper is going to help me test your uh, colorblindness with some colors that I have in terms of marker. So just uh, start on starting off right away. What color do you see? Blue. Okay, well, that's good. Just going to make sure you're able to get this perfectly fine. We're going to take that blue, and we are going to draw on this sheet of paper. Okay? You just let me know what you see. What color is that line? Blue. Fantastic. Okay. Why don't you tell me what you see now? What color is this? Red. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what you see. Sorry about that. What color is that line? Red. Good job. And we have one more final color. What do you see? Okay. Good. What color is that third line? Good. Another test passed with flying colors. Okay, so next up, we're just going to test your hearing. I'm going to have you just close your eyes for me. Okay, and you let me know when you hear a snap. All right, it's just going to be a nice little. Okay, perfect. So just complete silence. Okay, 
No sound there. Good job. Okay, good. That one is fairly simple. Most people can obviously hear these noises considering you can hear the words I'm saying to you. Yeah, if you want to ever come back for a more in-depth uh, listening uh, training sound tests, we do have more in-depth procedures that go into testing your hearing. Of course, we'll schedule for one. All right. So next up, we're just going to look at your muscles when it comes to your arms and legs. You can just bring your legs up here onto the stirrups. All right, and if you can just put your arm out like this for me, just straight ahead, okay? Just gonna feel around. Any discomfort? Okay. Go ahead and give me a fist. Okay, looking good. A little bit of pain there. Okay. All right. Go ahead and give me the other one. sore for any reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure to put that in the records. Uh, just go ahead and test your leg muscles now. I'm just going to give you a slight bonk with this tool here. No need to worry about it. Okay. And you let me know if there's any pain on certain areas on your legs here. So just keep it bent. Okay, no. No pain. Okay, good. Nothing. Okay, good. I'm just gonna feel around your muscles real quick. Make sure you're Thigh muscles, your knee joints are working just as good as they ever should be. Okay, just bring it out. Perfect. Good. It's almost like I'm starting a chainsaw here. <laughs> no, that was not funny. All right. Good. Same thing on this side. Okay, that looks good to me. Now we're going to go ahead and taste your sense of smell. If you don't mind, I'm just going to inject this perfect into your nostril. If you don't mind, just telling me exactly what you smell. There you go. Don't worry. I'm not piercing the skin in any way. What do you smell with this one? Mm-hmm. Now we're going to get another. Good. And this nostril. Okay, what do you smell? Vanilla and chocolate. These things are amazing. Oh, you're passing with flying colors so far, don't worry. Okay, just to confirm with you, we did your taste, we did your smell, we did your hearing, we did your eyes, we did your sense of touch. Is there anything you feel like we're missing here? No, that should be it. Let me just make sure I can see exactly what your file says. Hmm. Okay, well, it's saying I need to get your 
facial measurements done. Have you had that done here before? No. Okay, well, you can just keep your head symmetrical as, as, an, as symmetrical as you can. So I can go ahead and get this measurement. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me just... symmetrical. Okay, well, if, uh, if you're feeling okay, I'm feeling okay. We got enough test results to run back to the lab. Test everything to make sure you did do great. I believe we're getting blood drawn as well. So on your way out, go ahead and hit the blood um, factory area, wherever they take those syringe-filled bags of blood. That's just disgusting. You have a fear of needles. Well, I am terribly sorry. I don't want to scare you. So go ahead and stop by with one of our nurses, or you can holler at my assistant, Deborah. I'm sure she'd be more than happy to guide you to where you need to be. Okay. Fantastic. So it was great seeing you. I do have another appointment coming up. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay healthy, stay happy. Most importantly, please don't forget to smile. Fantastic. Have a great day. Oh, Dr. Jenkins, you have done it again. Deborah Latte.